Hello friends, in my previous video I showed you how to enable deleting messages in a Firebase database app. Now in this video I will show you how to enable editing these messages in a Firebase database app. So let's start. This is the app, the project which I created in Sketchware and in order to enable editing I will go to the custom view and add a button for editing. So here in this custom view child.xml I will add a new image view. For this image view, I will select the image as this symbol which is which will be for editing. I will set its height as match parent. Okay, now back to main.xml. Here in the events, I will first go to on child added. Now here I have already added this add child key to list string list. To add this we have to create a new list string here I have already created a list string list and I have added the child key to list string list. After that we need to go to on bind custom view and here we have to use this block when image view 3 clicked image view 3 is for editing so I have used this block when image view 3 clicked. Now we need few components here we need a file shared preferences component this will be f and an intent component i and in order to edit the messages I will create a new view let's name it as edit.xml edit one okay we cannot write xml here so let's name it as edit okay and in this xml file i will add this linear v with width match parent and inside this i will add an edit text and a button now this button will be for saving saving the data so I will just name it as save and I will change the text size of this edit text to 20 and text size of this button to 20. Now let's move back to main.xml here in the event on bind custom view when image view 3 is clicked then in that case I will use this file shared preferences component and I will use this block file f set data key position and its value will be get at position of list string list. Here I will use this block get at position of list string list now next is I will save the text at that position so for that I will again use this block file f set data key and the key will be text and I will set its value as it will be same as here I will just copy this and put it here. It will be get value at position key message of list map map list. This is the data stored in map list. Now after this I will use intent component to move to the next screen. For that I will use this block intent i set screen edit activity then start activity i. Okay, that's all here in main activity. Now next, I will move to edit activity. Here in edit activity, I will have to create a new file, new Firebase DB component with same name and location. So I will just move back to main activity to find the name of the Firebase DB component. It is FTB test chat. So I will create the same component in 
edit activity here I will create this five HDB component F DB test chat now once this component is created I will go to on create here I will add a new string variable let's name it as POS and another new string variable we don't need any other variable so I will just set this string variable POS to file get data key here also we need as file shared preferences component with same name that was F in main activity so I will just create a file file shared preferences component with name F here and here I will use I will set this position to file F get data key position this is string position next I will set the text of edit text so for that here I will use edit text one set text file f get data key this will be the key will be text because I used the key text in main activity I will just show you my main activity again here in this main activity in on bind custom view I have set the key position and key text so I have used the same keys in edit activity in on activity create now next we move to on button one click here we need a map variable so here I will create a new map variable let's name it as map now I will use this block map create new map then put key here I should put the same key as in main activity so I will just check my main activity once again in this activity I have used map variable put key message so I will use the same key message in edit activity also this is the key message and its value will be same as in edit text 1 so I will use this block edit text 1 get text after that I will add it to the firebase db using this block fdb get key the key will be this position and map value will be this map after this I will clear this map and then finish activity this is finish activity that's all in edit activity now back to main activity here in components I will add a new component 5s db on child changed and in this event on child changed I will just refresh the data using the block 5s db get children to list map map list and these blocks list view 1 set custom view data and list view refresh data okay, that's all in coding part now let's check this okay here is my database app and if I have to edit something in this like if I have to edit today is Saturday I'll just click on this and it will take to this new page here I can change this as today's Sunday 
and I can just click save now here you will find that the data at this position is changed if I have to change this I am at home I can simply change it here I am at office and click save here it will get saved in this database and here you can find this edited value now here if I add something new it will appear after that okay guys that's all in this video I hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this